Hi, everybody, and welcome to Ivy English. I'm Karen, and I'm Wesley. Today is September fifth, and please turn to page fifteen in your magazines for an article entitled "How the Hashtag Changed Our Lives." 中文标题是主题标签演化史。啊，主题标签指的就是那个 hashtag. What is a hashtag? 啊，就是那个井字号那样。但是现在我们都叫井字主题标签。Right,、yeah. and now we use it in many different social media. It started out in Twitter; that's where it started.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now, in many other platforms, all you have to do is add that hashtag, and your post will be cross-post to other places. Or when people are searching for a topic under a certain hashtag, they will see your post along with all the other ones with that hashtag. Ah,、uh, 那这个 hashtag 本来是在 Twitter 上面开始的哈，但是现在呢。很多的社群媒体都可以用这个东西，你只要前面用一个这个 hashtag， 啊，那你你所 post 的东西就可以被别人检索啊，横跨这个各种不同的这个 media 啊来检索。And here's our article: How the hashtag changed our lives. The hashtag has become one of the most popular tools on the internet. Anyone can use this simple character. All you have to do is post something on social media. Then put the pound symbol before a word or phrase. In an instant, millions of people will be able to find your post simply by searching for that hashtag. The origins of the hashtag go back more than a decade. In fact, though, the symbol is much older, and people used to call it the pound sign. The pound sign was mainly used before numbers or as an option for callers to press during automated telephone messages. On August twenty third, two thousand seven. Former Uber and Google engineer Chris Messina proposed in a tweet that Twitter users could group their content together by using the symbol. Twitter didn't like the suggestion at first, but later Messina's idea spread like wildfire. Eventually, hashtags proved to be more powerful than anyone could have predicted. When used effectively, they can serve as a vehicle for social change. In 2014, the Ice Bucket Challenge. In which people dumped buckets of ice water over their heads and shared the videos with the hashtag, went viral. In the end, the campaign raised 115 million U.S. dollars for ALS, a motor neuron disease, in less than a year. Other viral hashtags connected to major social movements have included Black Lives Matter, Me Too, and Je Suis Charlie, to name a few. Today, it is hard to imagine posting anything on Twitter. Instagram or Facebook, without including at least one hashtag. By using them, people can instantly connect with millions of others, often for the betterment of society. And once in a while, they can even become overnight celebrities. Back to the beginning again. How the hashtag changed our lives. 好，所以这个呃主题这个标题，我们如果直接从英文翻过来的话，是这个主题标签是如何改变我们的人生，改变我们的生活啊。那但是我们的中文标题另外取一个叫做“主题标签的演化史”，因为它告诉你这个主题标签怎怎么做开始，然后之间又怎么样经过怎么样的演化。The hashtag has become one of the most popular tools on the internet. 所以，井字的主题主题标签已经成为网络上面最受欢迎的工具之一。哈，那 tools 就是指工具。Now I spend a good deal of time on Facebook. I admit, but I have never used a hashtag. 哦啊，那这个呃，像 Karen 老师，他呃花很多时间在使用这个 Facebook 啊，但是 I admit， yeah， 他啊，他承认啊，但是呢，他没有用过这个 hashtag 这个主题标签。Anyone can use this simple character。啊，那每一个人都可以使用这一个简单的符号啊 ，character， 它可以是个符号，当然它一共来表示字的意思。字源，哎，字源。All you have to do is post something on social media. Then put the pound symbol before a word or phrase. Now, because they added the word symbol, I didn't say hashtag symbol. Although that would be another choice. They gave us the symbol itself, so I just used the old way of reading it: the pound symbol. Oh, 那这个呃，因为它这里在符号后面还有一个 symbol 这个字哈，所以 Karen 老师刚刚念是念 pound symbol 啊，那就是这个井字号。英原来的英文是 the pound symbol。那你当然也可以念是 hashtag symbol 啊。But tag and symbol mean sort of the same thing, so it sounded kind of redundant to me. That's why. Ah,、uh, 那但是呢，因为这个 tag 其实就是一种 symbol 啊，所以你讲 hashtag symbol 
听起来好像有一点点 redundant 那种感觉。Yeah, they don't mean the same thing, but to my ears, it just sounded redundant. 嗯哼，好，所以呃，这个 tag 跟 symbol 其实它指的东西还不是完，其实并并不一样，但是听起来好像觉得有一点这个啊呃,呃重叠了啊。嗯，好，所以呢，我们看到这个地方讲说 ，all you have to do is 啊，那注意这种结构哈、啊，就是。呃，前面主词如果是个片语，而且在片语里面含有 do 这个字的话，那后面加 be 动词，这个时候后面如果要加加动词的话，通常就会省略那个 to 啊。所以我们不不是讲说 all you have to do is to post， 而是 all you have to do is post。这个 to 其实是可以加，加不算错啊。但在美式英文里面呢，这个都不加的啊。所以这个我以前小时候背这些，看到这种句型，我觉得。很好记，因为我记得很小时候听到一首歌 ，All I have to do is dream、嗯。啊，那你只要听到这首歌，你就知道 All I have to do is 后面是原形动词 dream。啊，那就没有问题了。Songs are a great a great way of remembering these chunks。Yeah， 好，所以像这个，其实我觉得我给各位建议的一些老歌啊，你如果就还还觉得还蛮好听的话，你就去听一听，因为很多老歌的歌词都很慢啊， yeah. 那你就听得很清楚，你就可以记下很多很多的 chunk。好，所以这个地方 All you have to do is 你你要做的只是怎么样？你就你只要简简单单就 post 啊，这个呃贴啊 something， 你在这个 social media 上面你就贴个东西，然后呢把这个呃符号仅次符号啊 put the pound symbol before a word or phrase 啊，你把它放在一个字或者一个片语的前面啊，这样就可以了。In an instant, millions of people will be able to find your post simply by searching for that hashtag. So that makes the That makes social media much more searchable. 嗯啊，所以呢，呃 ，much more searchable 就是更便于搜寻啊。所以你只要把这个符号放上去之后呢 ，in an instant 就是瞬间、转眼之间啊。那 millions of people 就数百万人 will be able to 就将就可以怎么样 find 找到 your post， 找到你所贴的东西，你的贴文啊。怎么找呢 ？Simply 很简单 ，by 透过。Searching for 就是他只要去寻找 that hashtag， 他只要去找那个这个主题标签，那很容易就可以找到你所张贴的东西。The origins of the hashtag go back more than a decade. 好 ，origins 啊，就是起源。那各位注意到这个，我们当某个东西的起源的时候，那 origin 常常是用复数。Right. 因为我们比较概念上不会说某个东西它起源只有一个啊，通常都是好好多原因加起来，使得这东西成成为这个现在这个样子。所以起源通常都是用复数啊，这跟中文不一样。中文的话，你讲呃这个东西的起源，我们感觉我们没有去想它的单复数。可是你我问的话，你说那你觉得起源是一个还是两个？我们会觉得好像就是一个起源。哎，中文感觉是单数的。Thank you for saying that.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'm an English speaker, I naturally have to assign number to everything I read or hear, even in Chinese. So I、yeah. imagine it either as one or more than one.、Mm-hmm. I can't help that because I'm an English speaker. I naturally do、mm-hmm. that. I have to do that. Yeah. But at least we agree on this. When I、yeah. see Qi Yuan, I also think of one thing. Yeah. Ah,、uh, this Karen 老师的中文其实很好哈，他中文的这个概念呐、啊，还有语感呐、啊，其实很准哈。所以 Karen 老师也说，哎，他看到中文的起源，他觉得也是一个。那我觉得中文的起源，我想到的也是一个。啊，所以我其实也看过很多学生，他这个起源他都是用单数啊。那我把它加了一个 s， 他说老师为什么是起源不是、嗯？对啊，起源就是起源呐啊,啊，那就一个啊啊。其实英文里面是想着好几个的。This is a really good example of the difference between learning something by rule and intuition and learning by listening. Because if you listen a lot and you read a lot. You will know how most native speakers usually say it or write it,、mm-hmm. but if you are just inferring it, you're guessing according to your own intuition and according to the rules that you learned in your grammar book、mm-hmm. and your textbook. You will probably guess what Wesley said. You will guess the singular because in Chinese it gives you the feeling of being singular.、Mm-hmm. So intuition, although it does help you in many situations, because languages are very very similar,、mm-hmm. but when it comes down to the details, you need to know how native speakers do it. And in order to know that, you're going to have to listen more and read more. Yes, ah, so this place really is ah. You actually, learn language the best is to go to observe how native speakers use it, ah, not to rely on rules to determine how to use it. Ah, this place is a very good example. If you pay attention, you will find that when you read the article, when you hear native speakers speak, they are using the plural. Ah, so at this point, you can first remember that here they are using the plural. Even if you don't know why, it doesn't matter. Just do it. You just do it. Because actually, English is the same. I myself, in Chinese, I found many things. When I was a child, I learned Chinese. 
啊，后来到了可能到了国中，到了念，甚至于到了念大学的时候，他突然之间想到，哎。哦，搞了半天，原来是这样来的。Right， 呀、yeah, ，原来这个为什么这个 expression 是这个意思？哦，原来是这样子啊，那时候觉得很好有很好玩的。I'll, I'll give you an example、yeah. of that. That just happened to me in Chinese when、uh-huh. I was. I'm I'm still reading 诗说新语 I'm still not done.、Uh-huh. But how about 文笔 What does 文笔 mean? 文笔就是他的呃他的 writing skills, right? Or、yeah. writing style. 呃、uh, writing style, yeah. Right, but originally 文 meant 诗文，有押韵的叫文，文、oh. 笔 meant 散文。Oh, I only. That's how I reacted. I didn't, I I didn't, didn't either. That. That's how I reacted. <laughs> 原来 <laughs>、oh. <laughs> this happens to me all the time when I'm reading ancient Chinese, this, this old Chinese literature. There's all kinds of stuff that I just took for granted, and then it will explain where it came from and what it originally meant. And that was another one. I go, oh. So it's very interesting. Because my my intuition, that pen, I will think is because you are using pen to write. Yeah. So. 你用笔写出来的文章叫文笔、yeah. 啊，所以哦，原来这个笔是指散文的意思。Uh, right, exactly. Yeah, 随笔，它是散文。哦、oh, ，Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. 哦，所以很好玩啊。这这母语也是一样。你有的时候 native speakers， 你问他这地方为什么要加 s， 他可能也没想过，但他就是这样用。It happens to me all the time in English. I take、mm-hmm. it for granted, just like you'll take your native language for granted. We all do it. Yeah. And then I have a student ask me, "Well, why is it this, and why isn't it that?"、Mm-hmm. Often I'll have to look it up, and I'll go. Oh, yeah. 好，所以这个给各位一个很好的学习语言的例子啊，就观察 native speakers 怎么样使用，这个会比你用你所知道的文法规则推演出来的这个句子会好很多。Just because you know how to speak it and you can understand other people, other people speaking it, don't assume you know everything about your language. You、mm. may be making a lot of wrong assumptions that never had a chance to be corrected. Yeah, 啊，即使我们自己的母语，我们可能都会有一些错误的这个假设、错误的认知，哈、啊，是有机会你才会被人家改正啊。所以这个也要多跟中文好的人在一起，也很、也很、也有帮助。And just check the dictionary. Yeah, 或者其实养成查字典的习惯也很重要啊。Yeah, and by the、yeah. way, the MOE has a really good online Chinese dictionary for that.、Oh, yeah, the yeah. MOE, if you just type it in, it's really good. 嗯哼，好，所以呢，这个诶，他讲这里讲到这个主题标签的起源啊，是这个。可以追溯到后面，直接 go back 后面直接加一段时间啊，所以他可以追溯到十年之前啊，十年十几年前 ，more than a decade， 十几年前。Right, and MOE is Ministry of Education, 教育部 In case you are wondering, in fact, though the symbol is much older, and people used to call it the pound sign. 啊，那这个虽然说主题标签它是十几年前啊，可以追溯到十几年前，但是事实上啊，你看中文也是有个但是啊，英文有个 though 啊 ，in fact though 啊，事实上呢，这个这一个符号 is much older， 它其实不止十几年，它比十几年还要久，这个历史还要悠久很多。然后呢，人们以前称它为叫做 people used to call it， 人们以前称它为。The pound sign, ah,、uh, 就是这个紧字号。以前知道 the pound sign. Before we go on, I want to go back to the origins, the plural. Actually, if we're telling a story of how something started, if it is one very clear thing that caused something to start, then we will use the singular. We do use it sometimes when、mm. we are clear that it was one particular incident or one particular situation. That this thing can be traced back to, then we will use the singular. It's just、mm. in general, the default is plural, but if it's clearly one, we'll still use the singular. Ah,、uh, so this place, because I'm afraid of you, ah, this will feel oh, so origin 一定要加 s 哈，其实也不见得哈，通常会加 s， 但是就像 Karen 老师讲，如果你很清楚只有一个事件或者一个原因，这个时候还是可能可以用单数的。Right,、yeah. I would say the 复数是预设的用法，是 default，、mm. 就是没有。背景不没有多一点资讯的话，那你就用复数。嗯哼。The pound sign was mainly used before numbers or as an option for callers to press during automated telephone messages. Now it's a little more complicated than that. Pound originally did mean 一磅一磅水果之类的东西。嗯、um, ，So if you see six x, then it's six pounds. Oh, ah.、Huh. 所以呢，这个 pound 本来啊，它真的就是表示一磅一磅啊。所以呢，这个它是一个符号。Right, but it had a very specific usage. So if you wrote the hashtag plus six or the pound sign six, it meant six pounds, for example, maybe six pounds of bananas. 啊，所以以前啊，这个 pound sign 真的就是代表磅的意思哈、啊。所以你就呃那个符号啊，井字号后面加个六，就表示六磅的意思，可能是水果，可能什么东西的啊。那原来它真的这个意思。好，那他这里讲到说，这个 pound sign 它主要是用在数字前面啊，那
以前真的是表示六磅的意思啊，就是表示磅的意思。然后呢，它后来呢又变成一个 option 啊，一个 option 就是 a thing that is 或者 that may be chosen 啊，就你可以选择用的啊，这个给 colors 用的啊，就是它可以按。那在什么时候按呢？在那个 automated 就是自动化的。Telephone messages 就是电话的语音啊，所以这个我记得以前也有啊，这个诶，如果呃语音服务哈、啊，你说如果什么样的话，请按紧字号。Right,、啊、yeah, not 以前 ，we're still using it. I used、啊、it yesterday.、啊、OK， 啊，现在还在用哈、啊。我想原因是因为我只要听到这种我要按什么按按什么的这种电话，我通常就懒得打。Yeah, a lot of people don't enjoy talking with a machine. Yeah， 好、啊，所以我想各位还是一样，请按紧字号啊。这个时候那个 pound sign 就是紧字号，就以前是用在这种时候的。嗯。要继续等候，请按紧字号。Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I heard. <laughs> On August twenty third, two thousand seven, former Uber and Google engineer Chris Messina proposed in a tweet that Twitter users could group their content together by using the symbol. Am I sure it's Messina? No, it could be Messina. I didn't check to tell you the truth. Why don't you go check and correct me if I'm wrong? Ah,、uh, so in this, uh, in August twenty third, two thousand seven, August twenty third, two thousand seven. 呃，先前的这这个 Uber 跟 Google 的一个工程师啊，叫 Chris Messina 啊，这个不不太确定他怎么念啊，如果念错的话，请大家指教啊。那他 proposed， 他提议 in a tweet in a tweet 啊，他在一个推特文里面提议说，我们 Twitter 啊，就 Twitter users， 就是这我们用 Twitter 的人呢，我们可以 group， 我们可以呃这个呃归纳分,分类、yeah. 分类归纳哈、啊，归类我们的这个 content， 我们的内容 together。然后呢？怎么归怎么归类呢 ？By using the symbol， 我们就用这个符号来归类。That's extremely important because, for example, on Facebook, it's often been really hard to search a previous message. Like maybe you posted something yourself, but you'd have to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll to find it. Maybe、mm-hmm. it was three months ago. It will take forever. And sometimes they don't show you everything that you posted. It's usually faster to go straight to Google and type in your name and see if you can find it. So,、oh. Facebook in general has not been easy to search. So, using the hashtag is really useful for us to find things that people have discussed before. Ah,、uh, so, actually, as Facebook as an example, ah, you have to search on it. You have to search for some things that you posted before. Ah, so, 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 Right, but things that don't have a hashtag are still hard to search. Yeah, no、uh, hashtag. Is still, is still quite difficult to find. Twitter didn't like the suggestion at first, but later Messina's idea spread like wildfire. Ah,、uh, Twitter didn't like. So, he at the time didn't like this suggestion. Ah, at first, he didn't like this suggestion. And don't be surprised at this because、mm. any time somebody has a new idea that's really different from what people have been doing, what happens? Mm. People usually reject it.、Yeah. They say it's a bad idea. No, we don't want to do this,、mm-hmm. just because of inertia.、Mm. Inertia is I N E R T I A. I N E R T I A. Inertia is 惯性 That means、yeah. just because you're so used to what you're doing, that sounds so off the wall, so 离谱 so crazy. No,、mm-hmm. it's a lot of trouble. There's no point in it. That's what happens with most new ideas. Yeah, so, uh, when many new ideas first start to emerge, most people, ah, because of habit, ah, just think, ah, 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 后来他的 idea spread like wildfire， 哈，就好像如野火燎原般，很快的就传开了。Right. Yeah， 星星之火。<笑> yeah， 嗯哼。Okay， eventually hashtags proved to be more powerful than anyone could have predicted。好 ，predict 就是预测啊，所以 eventually 最后呢，这个 hashtag proved to be 就是他最后证实，就是他最后就变变成了啊，比任何人曾经预测过的还要更加的 powerful。Just imagine life without Google。Yeah.、Mm-hmm. How could we get by without Google now? Because someone has to organize this information so we can find it, and that's what this does. Yeah. Ah, so like, I think, 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 做事情绑手绑脚的 ，right? Yeah. When used effectively, they can serve as a vehicle for social change. 好，那如果你使用是有效的使用的话
啊、uh, ，when used effectively， 他们可以 ，they can serve as， 就是他们可以用来作为一个载具哈、啊。这个 vehicle 就是这个一个载具的意思啊，承载的工具啊啊 ，for social change， 对于就可以带来社会的改变，所以它是社会改变的一个载具，它就可以让社会改变的意思。In 2014, the ice bucket challenge, in which people dumped buckets of ice water over their heads and shared the videos with the hashtag, went viral. And I always thought that was a really foolish campaign. What is the point of dumping a bunch of ice on your head? That's a weird thing to do. Yeah. Ah,、uh, so in 2014, at the time, ah, this there was an ice bucket challenge. This、uh, hashtag in which, in such a this this uh hashtag, such a this activity, people, how they dumped ice on their heads. 这个倒啊，倒水那个倒哈 ，unload U N L O A D 哈，倒怎么样 ？Buckets of ice water 啊，倒一桶一桶的这个呃冰水 over their heads， 倒在自己头上。然后呢 ，shared the videos 就是分享这个影片啊 ，with the hashtag， 他用的是 hashtag 啊，就是指刚刚讲的这个 ice bucket challenge。那这样的一些影片呢 ，went viral 啊，就在网上疯传啊。我想大家都还记得这件事情。If it were just ice, it would be one thing. But ice water, wow, that sounds so miserable. In the end, the campaign raised 115 million U.S. dollars for ALS, a motor neuron disease, in less than a year. Ah, 到到最后呢 ，in the end, 啊，到最后呢，这个活动的或者这个运动募集的 raised 一亿一千五百万的钱啊的这个经费 for 这个 ALS 就是渐冻人症啊，所以。那这个渐冻人症什么东西呢？它后面同位格告诉你，它是个 a motor neuron disease 啊 ，motor 就是这个运动啊，那 neuron 就是神经元，所以 a motor neur a neuron 就是这个运动神经元的 disease 一个疾病啊。那而且是在不到一年就募了这么多钱。Right, if you want to know more, just Google ALS. Other viral hashtags connected to major social movements have included Black Lives Matter, Me Too, and Je Suis Charlie. To name a few. Ah, that other viral 在这里就变成形容词啊。其他的那种很热门、很疯传的一些 hashtags 啊 ，connected to major social movements 就是与主要的社会运动有连接的一些 hashtags 啊 ，have included 到目前为止包含了什么呢？啊，这个黑人的命也是命啊。那 Me too， 我讲大家都很熟，我也是。还有呢，后面那个我是查理啊，这些 hashtags。那 to name just a few 就是还有很多啊，所以仅举数例的意思。Today, it is hard to imagine anyone posting anything on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook without including at least one hashtag. Actually, lots of people post to Facebook without hashtags. Ah,、uh, 那今天呢，你很难想象啊，这个贴任何的东西在 Twitter， 在 Instagram 啊，或者是 Facebook。那 Facebook 是比较少一点的哈，但是 Instagram 跟这个 Twitter 上面，你很难想象有人会贴贴文上去而不会 include without including， 而不会。放进至少一个 hashtag， 也就是大家至少都会放一个 hashtag 进去。那有的时候会更多。By using them, people can instantly connect with millions of others, often for the betterment of society, and once in a while, they can even become overnight celebrities. 好，那 by using them， 啊 ，them 就是指这个呃 hashtags。那人们可以 instantly， 就是 at once， 可以立刻的 connect with。与什么连接呢 ？Millions of others 可以立刻就可以与数百万其他的人连接。好、uh, ，often for the betterment of society 啊、uh, ，就是让社会能够进步啊。Uh, betterment 就是 improvement 啊、uh,。那尤其是跟生活方面有关的 betterment 好、uh, ，所以通常你这个跟百数百万人连接之后，你就可以让社会更进步。For the betterment of society。然后呢 ，once in a while 就是 occasionally 啊、uh, ，或者这个 sometimes 有的时候呢，偶尔呢。They can even, 甚至于你这个人们可就是用 hashtag 的人呢，甚至于可以 become overnight celebrities. 啊、uh, ，overnight 就是这个呃一夜之间发生的事情。那 celebrity 就是名人，所以 overnight celebrities 就是一夜成名的啊， uh, 一夜成为名人的人。Okay, so how is your listening or reading comprehension of this article? We have four quick questions for you to test you on it. Number one, what is this passage mainly about? 本文主要是关于什么呢 ？The answer is D. The history and uses of a powerful symbol on the internet. 答案是 D. 啊，一个具有影响力的网络符号的历史跟它的运用。Number two, which of the following is not mentioned as one of the functions of either the pound sign or hashtag? 底下哪一个没有被提到？哈，是井字号或者是主题标签的功能呢？ 
The answer is B. It symbolizes the pound, the currency of the UK. 哦，答案是 B， 它代表英国的货币单位磅。Which is not correct. For the pound, we use a cursive L with a line through it. They don't use this symbol for the British pound. And three, which of the following is closest in meaning to spread like wildfire in the second paragraph? 以下哪一个跟第二段的 spread like wildfire 啊意思最相近呢 ？And the answer is C. Expand rapidly. 答案是 C. 迅速地扩展。And our last question for today, number four. What can be inferred about social movements from the passage? 从本文可以推断出关于社会运动的什么呢 ？The answer is A. There have been numerous ones that have used hashtags. 答案是 A. 啊，许多社会运动都使用了主题标签。That is it for today. 